In this lesson, we will see about update, upset, delete and drop table statement. So, whatever the data I inserted in the previous lesson, I cleared everything and I recreated those tables using the table create sample data SQL file. Okay, so let's see how the update works. So for example, let's see, let's open the student table, open content. So here, for, if I want to update this record, ID 9, name Zia, the course is blank, null here. So I want to give some, I want to update this null value with some course number. So for that update and the table name student and we use keyword called set and the column what we want to update is course and the value what I want to pass is for example C3 okay so if I write like this this statement won't understand which row needs to be updated right so I need to give some reference to this row because I, I mentioned student update student set course is equal C3 but where so that comes with where class where ID is equal to 9 Okay, if I run this statement and refresh the data, so my student ID 9 got updated with C3. So, for example, if I forget this where class, then what's going to happen? It will update each and every record in a table with course ID C3. So, make sure even though the where class is optional when you are using update statement you should be very careful in using where class otherwise it will impact the whole data in a table so let's see how that works so if i remove this if i run okay it executed and the number of rows affected is nine and if I refresh the data, every student is registered to C3 course only. So please be cautious in using where class. Okay. So that is about the update statement. So it's very simple, very straightforward. If we consider course table, so let's open the content. So here in course table, I have a column called price with all the prices so i want to update all these prices by adding 100 more dollars extra so to do that simple update course set price is equal to price plus 100 so I am updating the course table price column with uh, I am adding hundred dollars extra to the existing price and I am not giving any where class so it will affect all the rows okay rows affected seven if I refresh all these prices are increased to 100 and if I want to update only one particular course then where class where id is equal to c3 so always in that only case always C3 will be updated updated. statement that so is C3 this is what is we discussed in now if I refer to first lesson 500 stop start 
So whatever the updated record, latest updated record or latest inserted record will come in the result at the end. So that's why everybody select star may not be same. Depends on when the record is updated or inserted. So that is what we discussed in our earlier lessons. So when the select star may not be similar for every user. So to make it consistent, always use order by. So along with update, there is another statement called upset. So this is, so if you observe this, upset is like update plus insert. Sat is from the insert, up is from the update. So that is why it is called upset. So upset, what it will do is, if the, ex if the record we are trying to insert is already there in the table, then it will update. If the record is not there in the table, then it will do insert. So it will do both update or insert based on the existence of that particular record. So for example, if I write something like that, upset course values. So it, the syntax will looks like a insert statement but it will do update or insert. Upset course values id uh, okay I'll put directly the values c20 test price is 1000 id is 5 so ID name, price and instructor value is 5. So here I'll mention where course is equal to C20. So where course is equal to C20. And we know the course table don't have that 20, course ID is equal to 20, that record is not exist. So if I run this statement, okay, invalid column name, course, okay, so this, the column name is id, okay, so let's run this, and this executed successfully, and if I check this table result, I got one extra row, c20, with test 1005 okay now what i am going to do i'll run the same statement once again but this time i will x test x and i'll put something 50 so where id is equal c20 so when my where condition hit the table and if the value is already there in the table then what it will do it will simply turn into update statement instead of insert statement so if i run this affected is one okay so now it didn't added any extra record it simply updated the record c20 test x with instructor 50. so if the record already exists it will update if the record is not exist in the table so it will insert. So when you are not sure about whether it's going to be an insert or update, then use the upset statement. Okay, so the last one, delete. As we know, create is tough, but delete is easy. So for example, delete, this is the delete syntax, delete from course where id is equal to c20 so what this statement will do it will delete a record from course where id is equal to c20 okay i ran this and if i refresh c20 will go away c20 is gone but again the where condition is very important 
if I remove this where condition, if I run this statement, it will delete entire data from the course table. So now if we refresh course will be blank. So that's the reason while doing the delete or insert or update. Okay, for insert anyway, the where class is not there. So for the update and delete, including upset, the where class is very, very, very important. So please remember that. Okay, so that's the delete, nothing special about delete. And the last one is deleting a table itself. So our course table is anyway, it's blank now. So let's delete that course table. Drop table course. Okay, so the syntax is drop is going to delete the table itself. Delete is going to delete the content of contents of the table, but drop is going to delete the table itself. So drop table course. Execute. Now if I refresh this, course is gone. So that's how you can delete uh, drop the uh, drop the table itself. So don't don't confuse between delete and drop and please remember if you try to delete the data and you ran the drop statement then it's going to drop the whole table okay yeah that's all about update upset delete and drop 